turning the world upside down is what these works do, literally. They all turn the world upside down. Um, um, this red sky mirror here um, reflects the sky. It gives you an upside down image of, 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 of what's up there. Um, uh, 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 this park has um, a wonderful structure. Um, uh, Kensington Gardens is built, if you like, on this, uh, on a kind of geometric um, form. The principal one being uh, this alley through through here from, from Kensington Palace um, across to the Serpentine. And I placed two works um, opposite each other, both sky mirrors, uh, in other words, both reflecting the sky. And then there are two other works, you know, off forming a kind of diamond shape across uh, a, a sea curve over there and a work called Spire. I feel somehow they relate to the site in, 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 in different ways. Um, the two mirrors obviously reflect the sky. Sea curve is very much about the viewer. Uh, uh, and the way that the viewer is looking both at an object and kind of not looking at an object in, in that um, the concave mirror that it is um, doesn't quite allow you to focus um, on the object itself. You're always looking beyond it or through it um, at something. And then Spire does something similar but in a very, very different way. I really like the park um, too in that it's um, uh, a, a very uh, accessible, democratic way to, to, to look at, at art. Um, you come here to walk your dog or go for a run or whatever else, and then there, is, there are these, these moments that, that, that um, I hope capture your imagination.